Hi there. I got a couple of comments on my Just Cause 3 video saying they were having trouble installing mods in their game. I simply cannot let this happen, so here's a quick tutorial on how to do so. Step 1. Launch options. None of the mods will work if you don't do this, so I like to get it out of the way first when dealing with a fresh install. Just Cause 3 requires a specific set of launch option code in order to run mods. Why? I have no idea. But here's how you do it. Locate your game, right click on it, select properties, and there we have it. Now, enter this code. I'll have it available for copy-paste in the description below. Once you have it in the Launch Options text bar, you're good to move on. Step 2 is the Drop Zone file creation. This step is pretty simple. First, navigate to your game directory. You can do this by right-clicking your game in Steam, selecting Manage, and selecting Browse Local Files. From here, a list of files will pop up. Don't mind these, simply move your mouse aside and right-click. Then select New Folder. And name this new folder, Drop Zone. No spaces, no capital letters. And that's it. Now for step number three, downloading the mods themselves. As of the last couple of years, finding Just Cause 3 mods that actually work has unfortunately been a challenge. Luckily for us though, there is one website that still has a pretty high rate of success for finding mods that actually work and have support. Go to your web browser and navigate to videogamemods.com. I'll have it linked in the description as well. Once you're here, find a mod that you like. Select download and wait for it to complete. Once finished, navigate to the downloaded files and locate the one called Drop Zone. This is why we created the folder called Drop Zone initially. It makes this step a little bit smoother. Drag and drop the Drop Zone folder into your game directory. You can easily do this by positioning the folders next to each other on your screen. A mistake people commonly make is dropping the Drop Zone folder of the mod directly into the Drop Zone folder that was created by you. I've done this before. It breaks the mods. Don't make the same mistake I did. And that's it. If you've done everything correctly, you should have working mods in your game. Unless, of course, you don't. Here's a way to troubleshoot. A very small amount of mods don't like the initial launch options that I listed. If this is the case, simply add a space to the period at the end of the initial launch options code. Hopefully that fixes whatever problems you're having. If not, restarting the process is usually your best option. Hopefully now you have some fun working mods in your game. Thanks for watching. I make other videos too, so if you have some time to kill, watching them couldn't hurt. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for 250 subscribers. Goodbye.